Hi, I'm Roger. I'm sitting in the office here today. A real quick video on uh, something I saw yesterday it was a completely botched installation of the Ion 9000 meter. It's really not all that difficult to wire up if someone follows the directions. But as you'll see here as I uh, show a couple slides and a little bit of video, this one here was really messed up. And it was not only messed up, it was turned over to the customer and left that way. So here's the explanation and what I found. Okay, what I'm showing here first is a meter that's uh, installed and working properly. A uh, little bit of an overview of the 9000 meter. You, you get to see your uh, VLN average. You could also set it for your V2 average, your current average, your kilowatt hours whether delivered or received and your power factor. It's got real easy access to the front for setup using a uh, micro USB B to A or I should say a mini B to A and using ION setup 3.0 it can be done that way or you can actually set it up from the screen pretty easy. There's also other screens you can tab through that uh, I'm not showing right here. This is a clip from another facility from an installation I did quite some time ago. Uh, this is a basic installation diagram. It's a four wire Y. This is the top view of a 9000 meter from the back where the CT connections, the VT connections are brought in. This here is a little bit of an overview of what the back of the meter looks like on the uh, metering or the co switch gear compartment side and this one of course is hooked up correctly and is functioning correctly. Power connections come in underneath there's a little bit of IO you can add on there too if you like. Ethernet plugs in on the bottom. There's also a jack for a remote display. Here again is showing the top where your VT and CT connections are made. It's really not all that difficult if you follow a simple wiring diagram and you know the difference between the two different polarities on your VTs and CTs. Done quite a few of these in the past and never run into a problem like this. We use uh, PME, Echo Structure Power Monitoring Expert. And this is what I found when I happened to look at the diagram on one. And what you see circled there is what's wrong. And not just on one meter, but on two of them. They didn't match phase to phase either. Obviously A is not with A, B is not with B, and C is not with C. And they not only did this, this was not uh, my install or any company I'm associated with. This is something I was looking at for another uh, facility. And I just happened to notice this. But this is not only the way that the contractor put it in. This is the way whoever was doing the setup and power monitoring expert left it and said, here you go. And the facility was unaware that this was this wrong and this far off until I pointed it out to him yesterday. Well, hoping you either got a kick out of that or learned something or maybe both. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and if you hit the bell, after you subscribe, you'll be notified when we post new content. Thanks for watching. Okay, of course I have to add that uh, don't use anything you saw in here for your own settings. Uh, you need to come up with your own engineered settings for everything. This was just an example on what I found. This is my little disclaimer. Of course, I am not sponsored by or associated with Schneider Electric. I just happen to be associated with using some of their products and therefore I am representing what I find in these videos. So once again, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in another video.